course, after this evening, which will be so important and cathartic for people here in Lewiston, as the governor had mentioned, there will be an ongoing investigation into how this could have happened. Today, for the first time, we're seeing the text messages sent by an Army staff sergeant to a corporal warning about Robert Card and that a tragedy like this could happen. Uh, our continuing coverage continues now with Beth Germano, who's also live here in Lewiston with that part of the investigation. Beth? Well, there is frustration among many in the community that law enforcement was notified Robert Card could pose a serious danger well before the mass shootings, including here at the bowling alley, where you can see the tributes continue to pour in for the many victims. And today we spoke with a sheriff who insists everything will be looked at. Uh, the well-being of staff, the victims. The toll of the last week clearly straining Androscoggin County Sheriff Eric Sampson, whose first responders were a part of the hunt for gunman Robert Card. We're going through debriefs now. I'm sure that's going to you know, bring up some emotions for all involved. Debriefs on how the response was handled as newly released documents shed light on the high level of concern for Card's mental health in the months before the mass shootings. In September, desperate texts from an Army reservist who served with Card to a supervisor. Change the passcode to the unit gate and be armed if SFC card does arrive. Please, I believe he's messed up in the head. Another that reads, I believe he's going to snap and do a mass shooting. They can't just wash it away by saying, you know, we, we all did what we could do. They did not. There's a lot more they could have done. Auburn City Councilor Leroy Walker lost his son Joseph as the gunman shot up Shemengi's Bar and Grill where he was a manager. The Army Reserves also notified a sheriff's department with this letter. And what's known as a File 6 went out to law enforcement throughout the state of Maine to keep an eye out for Card. But it's one of many Sheriff Sampson says he receives. Was there anything about this particular notification that raised a red flag for you? The ones that raise a red flag for you are the ones that are known to be in your area. Be employed here, have family here, have connections to your community. Card's own family members contacted law enforcement back in May that he was hearing voices and had guns. If there were missteps, it's under review, while Leroy Walker reflects on a week of unimaginable pain. You think of it as he's coming home. You don't think of it as you're going to receive a dead body. In fact, a sheriff's deputy posted on Facebook highly critical of the response, saying it was a wall of silence when it came to sharing information. Sheriff Sampson called it unprofessional. That post has been removed, and his department was holding a debriefing today. Reporting live from Lewiston, Maine, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News.